The annual percentage yield is a real effective tool. What it really is, is it takes two things that are compound interest rates and it converts them to simple interest rates so you can make comparisons. And if that doesn't sound very clear, just listen to me for a second. Look down at our formula here. You notice you have one plus R over M to the M minus one. Well, this looks an awful lot like the future value computation, except for the fact that my present value is now a one because I've got to multiply by one here. And then where I had MT in the exponent, instead of a T, I have a T equals one. So what I have is a present value of $1 for one year deposited. Let's see how it grows. And then I subtract off the $1. So I deposited $1 for one year in an investment. I watched it grow. Then I removed the original dollar and that tells me exactly how much growth occurred on that dollar in the year. It is an annual percentage yield. So what do I do? You walk into a bank, there are two CDs, each compound interest with rates that are similar, but with compound frequencies that are different. How do you know which one is the best one? The APY. All right, let's go and look at our first example. Find the annual yield corresponding to a nominal rate of 8.4% compounded monthly. Well, this really isn't that bad. What I'm going to do here is I know the rate. I'm going to go through them to figure out these two values, R and M. Well, the rate is 8.4%. And the compounding frequency, or M, if you want to use M, is monthly. So it's 12. The APY is then equals parenthesis 1 plus rate divided by compounding frequency. I'm going to exponentiate because see outside of this I have my raised to the m. I'm going to exponentiate and then I'm going to subtract 1. My APY is 0.87311. If I come up here and click on percentage, now let's give a few decimal spots, it's 8.73% interest. So if I were to convert this compound interest rate to a simple interest rate, it would be worth 8.73% simple interest. Let's continue on now with example six. Example six, National Trust Savings offers five-year CDs at 8.25% compounded daily, and Bank of the Future offers five-year CDs at 8.28% compounded annually which is more advantageous for the consumer. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create one column for National Trust Savings and another for Bank of the Future. We both know their rates. This is 8.25% and this one is 8.28%. They're both for five years, but I don't need the time. I just need to know which one is the better investment. So I know the rate. Now I've got to find the compound frequency. Well, this one is compounded daily, and Bank of the Futures is compounded annually. So it happens how many times a year? That's right, one. So the APY is, again, fairly easily computed. I've got to do the equal sign, because that tells me that I'm getting ready to do math. And I have to open a set of parentheses. Now, remember, I've got parentheses 1 plus R over M, so I have to do 1 plus and I have to divide my rate by my compounding frequency. And I'm going to close the parentheses now. And I'm going to exponentiate to my compounding frequency again and subtract off the one that follows the form here. So I get a rate. Now here is the really neat thing. Because I built formula references in, and perhaps you can see them here, because I built formula references, I can now just do my copy paste trick out of um, lesson one and convert my formula. So I'm going to move my pointer down here till it becomes this black skinny plus. And I'm going to click down on that little box in the corner that's kind of a square and drag it over one. Now notice what happens. I'm converting to my formula view. Where my rate divided by my compound frequency is, it's in column B but it's 13 and 14. Notice here, 
it's now column C because I moved one column to the right, but my row references remain the same. All right, so we computed these. I'm going to convert these both to interest rates that are more easily seen. So National Trust Savings is, is really a simple interest rate of 8.60%, while the Bank of the Future has an APY or a simple interest rate of 8.28% because it's annually. Which one is the best? Well, the one with the higher number. That's it. The National Trust Savings earns you more money over time. So what is the APY? It's a tool that lets you compare two different compound interest investments by converting them both to simple interest rates so you can make a clear straightaway judgment which is the better one. And the better investment is the one, all things else you know, being equal, the one with the better interest rate is the one that will make you more money.